I have a desire to eat chocolate. Not right now. Actually, yeah, right now. But in general, I have a desire to eat chocolate. I like chocolate. If one terrible day the government decided to make chocolate eating illegal, I would still want to eat it. The ban wouldn't lessen my desire in any way whatsoever. In the 1920s, the United States government tried to ban alcohol, but it didn't work. It didn't matter what the law said about alcohol. People still wanted it. And so they just found ways around the laws. And similarly, just because we know what's morally right and wrong, that doesn't necessarily mean that we'll want to choose to do the right thing. Often we'll still want to choose to do the wrong thing, the thing that's against the moral law. You see, the law doesn't have the power to make anyone good. It can show us what good and evil is, but it can cause us to love good, to have a desire for good. We would need a brand new nature for that. We would need a spiritual heart regeneration. The Bible tells us in great detail how this is possible. So in section two, we're going to be following the Bible's narrative on this. Now, as a warning, talking about the law isn't necessarily the most exciting of topics. But A, Christianity will never truly make sense until you grasp this narrative. And B, if you stick with this, I think there will be some big kind of light bulb moments as we get towards the end of this series. An awful lot of things about the world will start to make sense in a brand new way as, as we start to wrap things up in section three. So let's get right into it. Let's look at how God achieves spiritual regeneration within us.